Last week on the show, we took a trip to the home of Reverend Jack Gates, and not far from its downtown location is Bethel Church Park, a site of great significance in Houston's history. Oh, AT&T oh, Sportsnet oh, and Rooms oh, to Go are proud to celebrate oh, Black oh, History oh, Month. Oh, oh, oh. Sitting just west of downtown rests one of Houston's greatest symbols of strength and resistance. This is Bethel Church Park, located in the Fourth Ward. Founded in 1891, it became a focal point in the thriving African-American Houston neighborhood called Freedmen's Town. Back in 1891, when this church was originally constructed, there was a strong black population of educated, free people who were practicing their faith, finding community, strengthening their neighborhood, building their legacies together, all centered here at this church and other institutions of faith as well, but very much so at this church. Bethel Church was one of the first places for freed slaves to gather for worship and other events. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, it was the vision of some of the earliest leaders of Houston's African-American community. Most of um, Houston's history that's involving African-Americans started here in Freemanstown, which is also known as the Mother War. And so uh, these legacies continue on today with a lot of things connected to African-Americans in Houston. What's so incredibly important about this space is that it's withstood the test of time. From its original construction in the 1800s, it withstood the gray storm of the 1900s, which battered the region and destroyed Galveston. And here we are today um, in this structure that after attempted arson in 2005, we are still able to be here today to appreciate the grandeur, the intention, the architecture, the legacy that was set for us. Following that fire in 2005, the city of Houston purchased the property in 2009 and converted it into the park that it is today. The original brick walls have remained and are joined by towering arches, stained glass panels, and pew-like seating. Today, the space is used for a variety of events to help keep its proud history alive. We'll have many different opportunities for community engagement, music, art, watch parties, worship, weddings, celebrations, all sorts of activities that bring the life back into this space, which is living history. If you'd like to visit Bethel Church Park, it's only a mile from the Toyota Center, so you can easily make a stop there in that nearby Sam Houston Park to see the home of Reverend Jack Gates before the next Rockets home game. Time for our final break here on Rockets All Access, but when we return, we've got...